Hi, my an, an, another great inspection to the enrichment. This home was built 2021. Correct. I see it's still in very good condition. But I, did you see any signs of settlement? Well, you know, homes in this area, in Houston in general, will always show minor signs of settlement just because of the soil or clay that the house is built upon. Mm -hmm. You know, and when I say minor signs, they're going to be very faint cracks. You have things like nail pops. You know, you'll see some of that, you know, but that is not an indication that the foundation is performing poorly or anything like that. That is normal settlement that occurs over time in this area. This area, wonderful, wonderful. And I, I see you were, you, were, you were telling us about the importance of having the carbon monoxide detector. Why is that important? Well, carbon monoxide is the detector is important when you have gas appliances. You have a gas, you have a gas stove, gas oven, you have a gas hot water heater, oh, yeah. you have a gas, um, anything hot water related, oven related is run by gas, okay? So you need a carbon monoxide detector in case a leak is sprung or anything like that. That carbon monoxide detector will alert you just like a fire alarm. Wow. It will alert you that there's a carbon monoxide leak and you need to get out, you know. Oh, you need to get if out. If you ever have a carbon monoxide leak, or if you smell gas, get out. Don't, just get out immediately. Don't even play around. What if I you said that the carbon monoxide detector is connected to the security system? The carbon monoxide detector is connected to the fire alarms. The fire alarms is correct. So when you test the fire alarms, all you have to do is test one. It should alert all the systems in the house. And if this system will say fire, 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 or carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide. So it'll alert you okay. yeah, once, they, once it smells it. Wonderful, wonderful. I also see the, the, the water heater, two heavy gallons of 250 gallons. Right. And you said, you know, it's important because it's not up in the attic. Why is it important? Correct. So there's two 50 gallon water heaters in this, that service this home, which means you have plenty of hot water. So, a lot of times they put the hot water heater in the attic over the living area. Okay. I think that's a bad idea because if the water heater ever fails, you have a top-down water damage and everything under it is saturated. Oh, okay. okay. In this case, the water heaters, low, water heaters are located in the garage, okay. over the garage area. So if they happen to fail, it'll damage the garage area. So that'll be limited, a limited drywall. Limited drywall. Drywall repairs and paint. So Wonderful. that's a much better design, in my opinion. Be, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, looking forward to the next, Mike. Thanks so much. All right, Frank. Appreciate it. Have a good week.